the basic question was if somebody came to Waterloo Park for the first time and wanted to get their way across and just blindly went through the path intersections taking random turns, how much on average would it take for that person starting from point A to get to point B? There's a thing in physics called Brownian motion where particles like just pump in randomly inside the fluid. This phenomenon was really used by Einstein to prove the existence of atoms. Random walk models are also used in a lot of other sciences to describe movement of bacteria in solution, firing of neurons in the brain, and even in more social science um, contexts to analyze, for example, the World Wide Web and the connections in that network. And financial markets as well, so yeah. in predicting option pricing and stochastic models are very popular. That's a broader class of these random walk based models. If we have a random walker, like we have 50-50 chance like to go just right or left. So basically if you promote this to a two-dimensional plane, like we'll have like four possibilities, forward, like backward or left or right. To promote this idea to like a random map, if we have an intersection point, we'll have a lot of possibilities. We actually modeled um, the network of paths in the park in a matrix and that allows you to more efficiently calculate the probability of getting from one point to another point in a certain finite number of steps. The formulas we derived are general, would in principle work for any net park network or WWW network or any bacteria transfer network, any sort of graph which, which is can be represented by sets of points connected by lines. But that's not really a real-world re result because even a norm, any human being walking through a park would probably not try and trace back their path, the path where they came from. So if we to take that into account, like not going back, the, re the result ends up being somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes because we don't walk randomly. 